Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. So today is a video that I've wanted to do for the longest time, but I just haven't had the time and the courage to really get around to doing it. Um, it is a Bondi Sands review and first impression and a comparison to Loving Tan. Now, my Loving Tan fake tanning routine has got like over 110,000 views and I've got so much comments on that talking about my application and my body and all of this kind of stuff and people saying oh your hands are stained but also I got lots of good feedback as well but now I've had a lot more practice and experience at applying fake tan I've been applying fake tan since September and you guys know I love my fake tan and so I've really wanted to try out Bondi Sands and I've wanted to see if it's better than Loving Tan because lots of YouTubers and people had been raving about this and people have been raving about Loving Tan and I was like, hmm, what one's going to be better? So, so if you want to hear some things about Loving Tan, go and watch my Loving Tan um, video. I'll link it down below. But just a quick overview. Loving Tan is my favourite tan. It is so dark. It goes on so smoothly. It develops in six hours. This is the Deluxe Bronzing Mousse in Ultra Dark. This is my favourite tan ever. I've been wearing this since since September it's so natural looking it doesn't go orange it's not too green base it's a perfect bronze olivey kind of tan so it's really natural and it looks really good so I really like this and that's why I wanted to see if Bondi Science was better I apply loving tan once a week for those of you who are asking it comes off nicely it kind of fades off it lasts a week and it's a perfect color and I used to use two layers of this but that makes you go really dark um, so now I'm using one layer and it's the bottle's lasting like a month and a half. You can see how white I am, like I will stand up a bit. I'm really white so um, I'll make sure to link photos of before and afters of the Bondi Sands for you guys. Anyway, this says it's Salon Quality Formula and it's a coconut scent. Oh that's good because Loving Tan is a nice scent, it's like kind of coconutty, it's not too strong. It's Australian made and this is 200 mils and Loving Tan is 120 mils. Oh, so that's already a plus because Loving Tan, when I used two layers, it ran out in like a month or like a month and a half, kind of. That's already a plus. Bondi Sands is 200 mils, so it will last a much longer. And then it says Bondi Sands self tanning foam, sand, sea, and sun, the inviable Australian image. With Bondi Sands, you can have the ultimate sun-kissed Australian tan in just minutes. Enriched with aloe vera, aloe vera, well that sounds good, and infused with a scent of fresh coconut, Bondi Sands self-tanning foam will leave skin glowing like a day on Bondi Beach. Simply smooth on foam for an even tan without the telltale aroma of many other tanning products. <laughs> okay guys, sorry about my background. You can see that it like cuts off here. It's because I just hang up a black sheet. So mind that. I'm gonna apply the Bondi Sands now. I'm just gonna pump it out. I'm gonna give it a little shake and put it on a mitt. Let's see. Okay, so first impression, I squirt it out on my mitt and it smells really good. Like I actually prefer this smell over Loving Tan. It's a bit more like sweet chocolatey coconutty scent. Like I really like that caramel chocolatey scent. And it looks a tiny, tiny bit lighter and a bit more foamier on my glove than Loving Tan does. So let's see how it works. By the way, I'm going to put Loving Tan on this arm, so let's just avoid that one. Oh, well, this is different. I've noticed straight away that this is more brown. And oh my god, this just smells so good. Well, I really like this because... It doesn't dry as fast as Loving Tan actually. It like blends out a bit more easily. Look, you can already see the difference between this arm and that arm. Um, yeah, first impression, this blends out a bit more easily and it doesn't stain. With Loving Tan you have to like rub it in really fast or then it stains and you have to redo the areas and it can become quite patchy and hard to apply. But this is like going on really easily. Okay, by the way, I'm just doing one pump for this. So now I'm going to put it on my chest gonna be annoying trying to dodge this bikini I normally do this without any bikini on take in mind so it's just gonna be a bit harder to apply with this bikini on okay it doesn't stick to any dry areas really I mean I did kind of exfoliate but I didn't really that well 
and it's just blending in so easily so it it seems like really moisturizing as well by the way like when I'm rubbing it in okay let's see I forgot to tan like the back so there's a little line you can see let's see if like with loving tan if I have a line like that you can't really take it out so let's see if it will blend in with this product Okay, I can see that it, it actually like blended out with that line because I hadn't come back to it in a while when I applied it over my shoulders and I just had to apply another layer. It's blending in really easily and I really like that. Okay, I'll do everything like my legs and butt and back and stuff off camera but now I'm going to put Loving Tan on this arm and compare the two arms um, straight away. So, yeah, Loving Tan's a bit darker on the mitt. You can see it's a bit more brown and it smells a bit more coconutty. Bondi Sand smells a bit more caramelly, chocolatey, which I kind of prefer. Let's do this. Oh, one drop just fell on the floor. Okay, so Loving Tan, when I compare these two again, I notice that. Loving Tan goes on a bit darker. It's a bit more like, I can't explain, it's like more ready brown. So far, see with Loving Tan, all you can see is like a teeny bit of streaks, like if you leave a white streak. So you have to like blend Loving Tan in really fast, but I still really like it. Okay, mind the funny angle, but I just put it on my leg and oh my god, Bondi Sands is like amazing. It's the most perfect bronze colour. You can see it going on really easily right now. It's literally going on so well. It's not like, like I'm putting tan over tan and um, like see it goes a bit streaky if you don't, if you layer it on top of wet tan, but you just quickly buff it out. You can see the difference between no tan and tan. I think this is going to look like the most beautiful olivey tan when it sets. So you can see here, here's Bondi Sands and here's Loving Tan. As all I can see is this one is a bit more olivey. Like this looks a bit more natural to me. Loving Tan still looks really good but it's got like a kind of a reddish Alburn kind of tint to the tan. And this one looks a tiny bit more natural. You can see slightly the difference. Like this one looks a bit more yellow tone, so I think this one's going to suit my foundations. The Bondi Sands one's going to suit my yellow tone foundations a bit more than Loving Tan. Okay, so I'm going to leave it on for another four hours or so, so altogether it's been on for five hours. I would really want to go for the six hours, but it's already two o'clock right now and it's going to be really dark. Hey guys, I've moved you into another corner of my bedroom where I can stand back and show you the tan. It is now quarter to five now, so it's nearly been on for four hours. Um, I could keep this on for six hours, but I can see that it's really developing. It'll probably go a teeny bit, teeny bit darker than this. But I'm just gonna step back and show you how it turned out. So as you can see my face is already too white for my body because I've just put on a BB cream so I need to put on a darker foundation now to match my body. The tan turned out really nice and dark. Guys just letting you know I went ahead and took the gar colour off because I thought it wouldn't be fair if I just filmed the whole video with the gar colour on because that's when you're the most darkest because you've still got the um, residue and stuff left on your skin. You're meant to wash off your tan in the shower after about six hours or overnight. Here's what it looks like with the gar colour washed off. It's still much darker than what I was in the start. Okay, now I'll insert some photos now of my loving tan before and after and of Bondi Sands before and after. As you can see the Loving Tan before and after, it's much more darker. Loving Tan is a bit darker and more 
brown and bronzy while Bondi Sands is dark but it's not as dark as Loving Tan and it's more yellow toned and a tiny bit more natural looking. So overall I'm not sure if Bondi Sands is better than Loving Tan, they both have their benefits and advantages and disadvantages. Um, I would go for Bondi Sands if you want a teeny bit of a lighter tan, a natural tan and a more yellow based olivey looking tan. And if you find it hard to apply fake tan and you've had troubles with loving tan in the past, try Bondi Sands because I think it's a bit more easy, easy to um, spread out and it's a bit more like moisturising almost and it doesn't dry as fast so you can like really blend it out quite easily. And I like the smell just a teeny bit better. So they're the advantages of Bondi Sands. And Loving Tan, I would go for that if you really like your dark tan. So if you're in the middle of summer and you really want to look nice and dark, I would go for Loving Tan because it's a bit darker. If you guys want a bit more of a brown, bronzy look, then go for Loving Tan. And I think Loving Tan is a bit better for you, like the ingredients. There's no parabens or no alcohol in... Um, Loving Tan and Bondi Scenes does not say anything about no parabens or no alcohol. If you find Loving Tan too dark though, there is um, other tanning mousses. So there's a medium one and a dark one, which is just under this one. I've got the ultra dark one, that's why it goes like really dark. And Bondi Sands is just dark, so that's why it's a bit less dark. And there's also a light to medium one in Bondi Sands as well. And I forgot to mention there was a lotion and there's a spray as well in Bondi Sands. But I like the foam formula the best because I feel as if it goes on easily and it makes less of a mess than the spray ones. And it just goes on a lot more smoother and better. So yeah, I really like these tans. They're both just as good. I think it comes down to a tie. So I'll let you guys know down below um, how long Bondi Sands lasted on my skin. I know that Loving Tan lasts a week but I'm not sure about Bondi Sands. I'll see if it lasts longer or less but I'll let you know down below and on my social media how long it lasts and how it faded off. I heard it really fades off really nicely um, so I'll let you know how that goes down below. So overall I really like both tanning products and Bondi Sands did really impress me though. Um, Everything about it I look for in a tan, it just ticks all my boxes and I definitely recommend you guys go and check it out and I'm definitely going to use Bondi Sand some more and experiment with it and everything. I hope you guys liked this video, give it a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below if you've tried these tans and what one is your favourite, I'd love to know. I hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you guys in my next week's video. Bye!